You know, we always try to bring things to, to the show and tell people about it as soon as we think there's something fun. And judging how people are reacting at the arcade cabinets, people are having fun. So we're doing good so far. Awesome. What is the what is the best the feature that you like the most about the game so far? That's hard to pick. Um, <laughs> I think the fact that you get to choose how you want feeling on to play. So some people remember the original, which is all about sort of mastering these beats. And the beats were very demanding. If you yeah. got shot once, you were dead. Um, with Alien Hominid Invasion, it's you and up to four, uh, three other players. And you get to choose your difficulties independently and then play together. And you get to choose which levels you want to navigate and how much you want to maximize those levels. Because the longer you're there, the more dangerous it is. But if you want to try to risk it and get as much loot as you can and hop through your alien as much as you stuff, that's your choice. So. so you get to pick the intensity of your experience. Exactly. And awesome. that's been a big part of what we've learned from our previous cooperative titles is just making sure that you can just sit on a couch with whoever you want and play and that's the goal. Awesome. So do you see this being a game that you can play with kids? Do you think they'll be enjoying it? Yeah, my daughter and I, you know, she hasn't signed the NDA yet, but she's been having a good time. So she can set it to the friendly difficulty and I can outfit my alien with all kinds of boosts and abilities like healing mutation so I can heal her, you know, so she can just ride on my back and be like a little turret and get a break if it's getting a little too intense. Yeah. So, but at the same time, if you're an original Alien Covenant fan, the insane mode, honestly, if, it, if you take too long in a level and the agents get too alerted to your presence, I honestly think it's harder than the original. Really? So, yeah, the, the, the threat is there if you want it to be there. <laughs> so speaking of intensity, like, it's so... In terms of strategy, like is this just you know shoot everything you can and just stay alive, or is there more to it? Well, it's not just it's not just fighting the agents. Yep. You're also trying to take over the earth. It's important. So your mothership, your mom, has sent you off on this mission. So you get objectives that you have to prioritize. So you know, do I sit here and try to fight back these waves of enemies, or am I going to break out and take care of what she wants you to do? to earn your allowance, essentially, the loot that she drops you. So. Okay. So the demo that I got to play, I was collecting paper. So like, what kind of, what, what, what happens with that paper? So the intel, uh, so you carry it all on your back, because that's what you do with papers. Yep. And then you take it to a fax machine, and then the fax machine launches into space, as fax machines do, and it goes to the mothership, and then she gives you your job. So that's objective. kind of like, okay, okay, so that's yeah. so getting so like the paper is not the objective. Right. The, the getting, sending the facts, right. at least give you the opportunity to get right. an agenda. And the different levels will have a wide variety of activities that she wants you to do. And some of them, our human brains can understand, like, you know, take out so many enemies or, you know, defend a certain point. But sometimes it's like, watch watch this kid and make sure he gets from point A to point B because he's on his own secret mission. Because the kids from the original game are still your allies, they help you out. Okay. Um, so you're doing weird alien things sometimes <laughs> that only the aliens understand. So speaking of the aliens, how many different variations of aliens can you use to play with? 
So, can't talk about that too much yet, okay. but the aliens, you get to mutate them as you play. So, lots of these mutations. Uh, right now at the show, we're showing off the invader, which is very much like the classic alien hominid um, with the grenade and everything. So, you can use that for grenade chunks and taking out clouds and enemies. But um, as you go, you're going to learn all kinds of new things. So, if you want an alien that can fly, you can get an alien that flies. You want your buddies to ride on your back with their grenades, and then you fly into the air and drop grenades on enemies, you can do that. Do so, we know yet then, let me see if I can answer past the right way, how many aliens will be able to have when we at launch? Do you mean number of players? Do you mean like the variations? The variations. Can't quite say yet. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. Trying to see how much we can get. Honestly, we have over. We're still trying to figure out what's the sweet spot for okay. ourselves. Like, we just... We don't want to put them in just to put them in, yeah. but I am constantly jotting down ideas that I think would be fun. So it's going to be hard for me to like, you know, lose some of those because I, I just keep on spiraling into what if, what if, what if. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so now let's get to the game hack. Do we know um, the launch date? Not yet. Not yet. But we're learning a lot at the show. Perfect. Depending on how well everybody seems to be responding and, you know, whether or not the difficulty is dialed in the way we want because we yeah. want, again, we want kid to be able to play it, you know, this might be their first action game, and we want original Alien Humble fans to play it, so if that all looks dialed in, then we can start talking about the bosses, level types, and yes. yeah. Okay, great, and then what, are we aiming for certain platforms? Right now, we're shooting for Switch, and for Xbox One, and for Steam, uh, sorry. Okay, awesome, yeah. perfect, well then, how can everybody follow the progress and keep keep it in tune so we know when it's coming out. Yeah. Uh, well, we have actually a Discord if you look for the behemoth on this part. Uh, we also have a newsletter if you go to our website, uh, which is the behemoth, uh, all spelled out. So, yeah, okay. it's, it's out there and we always love to share everything as soon as we have it. Awesome. So, you will be the first to know, aside from us. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to show the game to me and speak with me. We appreciate it. Well, Good luck so with the show. Fun. Thank you. Yeah. Very well.